Hello everyone, welcome to MEP Technique. Today I am here with a new subject. Today we will discuss about the under voltage, over voltage, phase sequency and phase failure relay. So we have one relay who can react in the event of under voltage, over voltage and it will detect incorrect phase sequency, phase loss and neutral loss as well as it will measure phase to phase and phase to neutral voltage. We will discuss how to applying power in this relay, how to set the unit and how to do the controlling wiring of this relay. So this relay will react if there is phase failure as you can see here uh, there are three phase R phase, Y phase, V phase. If one of the phase will be failure then this relay will detect us and phase under voltage and over voltage that means if the voltage will exceed than our set point and if the voltage will below than our set point then this relay will react and it will trip the circuit as well as it will react if the phase sequence will be changed you can see here r y b there are three phase if the phase sequence will change then this relay will react and trip our circuit so first of all we will uh, discuss about the function of this relay you can see here this is the over voltage setting and this is the under voltage setting this is the delay timing so this relay set set in 120 percentage that means 120 percentage means if 20 percentage of the uh, power will exceed then uh, this relay will trip the circuit it is here set at 90 percent uh, so let us discuss about the electrical controlling and uh, 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 and how we can control the cable with the main power supply you can see here there are four terminal line one line two line three and neutral so that means line one is connected with r phase okay then line 2 connected with y phase then line 3 connected with b phase and this is neutral connected with neutral that means this is the auxiliary supply of the conductor so in output there are three terminal 15 16 18 in in the normal condition 15 to 16 will be nc that means if the power everything is okay that relay will energize and it will provide the power supply to 16 and that means 15 to 16 will be nc and in the event of any abnormalities such as phase failure phase sequence change under voltage over voltage that time this relay will not send the power from 15 to 16 it will send the power from 15 to 18 this 18 indication will be connected with our tripping circuit okay then now we will discuss how we can troubleshoot this relay so you can see here there are two indication this is green and this is red green indication and red is we can get to know the uh, the uh, the uh, failure of this relay by check this indication lamp so if the phase are neutral missing that means if the if the phase is failure then green and red both indication lamp will be off position if the phase reverse that means if the phase sequence change that time green this indication will be flushing and red indication will be off and during under voltage over voltage condition and phase failure condition this indication lamp will be on and this indication lamp will be off okay so this is the troubleshooting and we have discussed about the controlling wiring of this relay and we have discussed function of this relay we have discussed and we have done the controlling wiring of a relay who can protect from phase sequency under voltage over voltage and time delay with time delay so i hope you understood whatever we discussed okay i will mention the controlling diagram as well as the troubleshooting uh, troubleshooting criteria in the video for your information 
and uh, it will be easy for you to get the the information so i hope you understood everything whatever we discussed if you have any comments and you have any doubt please do not hesitate to write the com uh, comments in the comment box and if you have not subscribed the channel please do subscribe and like and comment and press the bell icon to get the notification